Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to send out a thank you to one of my subscribers and she sent me this beautiful set of Derwent push button water brush pens. So I'm going to open this up then I'm going to fill these up with water and we're going to give them a little test drive. <laughs> so if you'll hold on for just a moment. Okay guys, I got them all filled up with water and let's try to get this so we can see what we're doing here. I'm going to take off all the tips just so it'll be a little easier for me. Okay, let's get them in order. And I have a um, pad of ink tents here. I've already tried at least this brush here with a little bit of um, the green. So this is the travel size um, Derwent Ink Tense paint pad I pulled out. I'll probably be using these brushes with the inks, so might as well get them used to it, right? Um, we'll start with the little one since it's here. This is a two millimeter fine tip point. We're going to go in this green here and put a line here and then we'll just draw across the top thin line. Got a little water coming out of that. Well, we'll let it sit there. Then we'll put some little dots so you can see how small they can get. So that is the I'm going to draw a line down here. I got to be careful not to push that button because that's where I like to grip. <laughs> okay, so that is the uh, two millimeter one. I'm going to get that water off the page there. Okay, this one is the three millimeter, I'm pretty sure, because that one's bigger. Yeah, three millimeter, so it's one up from the fine tip. We're just going to do them all in the same green. So its initial line is a little bigger. Our drawing across isn't much different there. Our dots though are going to be bigger. You can just push that button there if you want to rinse out the top of your brush. Okay, this one here is your four millimeter. So it's quite bigger than the two, a little bit bigger than the three. It's the base of the um, brush here. We'll go in the same color. And that's a nice big stroke. And your dots. Rinse that one out. And then we got the big one. <laughs> this is a 10, so this is up, what, six more than the other ones. And it's a flat, um, so it's not round. They call it a chisel tip, large. Almost covers the whole pan when you pick up. And if you're going to be, I'm going to add a little water to that. Doing a background or something. That would be great. Get a little of that off there. We're going to try to draw a line with that. <laughs> well, it's going to be bigger. <laughs> and if you did dots, I mean, you can do them like that if you like. There we go. <laughs> this one is a large. Um, if you want it just to cover with water too, you can just cover your whole page with water. And then use one of your little ones and add some color in there. I mean, that would be fun. 
and just let it do its own thing. Well, it's cool. This isn't watercolor paper, by the way. <laughs> this is just a tablet of thicker paper I'm using. Let's try a... I like how that spreads out. That's cool. Anyway, there's that idea, too. You don't necessarily have to paint with it. You can cover the whole background with water. If you were using watercolor, you can... Um, Get a lot of water out of this, by the way. They seem to just hold the water in the bristles, though, so it's not like pouring out. Some of the other water brushes I have will just continually drip, which sometimes is good, sometimes not. <laughs> it all depends on what you want in your watercolor brushes. But I like how it did that. I'm going to sop up some of that water, though. That's cool. So yeah, the difference between the brush tips, I see using probably uh, these three a lot. Uh, this one, I guess I could be using that for, like I said, the backgrounds. I'm going to get it small enough to go inside the cap. They hold a lot of water, by the way. This is really big compared to some of my other ones. Let's see if I can find one. Yep, here we go. This is the little uh, Derwent one that comes inside here. So you can see the big difference there in the water barrel. <laughs> this one holds just that much. This one holds that much. And it, this is really big. Now I have to refill this if I'm doing a page. So this is going to be a nice size, and I like the uh, being able to control the amount of water that comes down. That is really nice. Four different sizes, always a good choice. The tips of these are nylon, and they will stain. I mean, I use ink, but even watercolors will stain the tips of these. You can't; it won't come. On a, off on your paper. It just stays in the bristles. They've all, I'll do that. This one's really bad. <laughs> but they stain. So it's just the name of the game. This one probably could get rinsed out a little bit better. So you just squeeze it and rinse out water. I do it on a, a cloth to get the excess ink out of there. But the same with watercolor. So yeah, try that up. I mean, obviously you can tell I use it a lot. <laughs> so I wanted to thank Wendy so much for sending these and supporting my uh, channel. That was really, really kind of you. And um, yeah, uh, hopefully I will be able to get these into a coloring book soon. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll see if I can answer them. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye now.